Sego Sewa Gwego, Sarah Jungiat. I'm a first year student at the Ngwehue Midwives Collective Apprenticeship Program. I got my pattern from blogspoonflower.com and I printed it out. Then I cut it out and added it to a cardboard. And on the pattern, it says for the sole to cut out two of everything. But because I'm using suede, I'm only going to need one. One right, one left. And I am going to put the, make sure it's the glue, it's the rough side down. And when I iron, I usually put my inter interfacing on top so that if the glue gets stuck, it gets stuck to the mat and not my iron. Now that the interfacing is on, if you want to add applique to your toe piece, this would be the time to do it. So we're going to try to add the elastic to the casing now that we made. See how this goes. If it doesn't want to go anymore, we will get a smaller safety pin. There we go. Yay! So I keep just pushing my safety pin through, pulling this out, until I get to almost where the tail is. don't want your tail to go all the way in then you have to do it over again so now I'm going to stitch here stitch this down on the machine usually I go back and forth a few times just to make sure the elastic isn't gonna move try to make sure it's flat too didn't twist anywhere so we're going to put the upper and this part and here's where I like to pin so I don't usually pin at the elastic but I'll pin right next to it to hold it in place and I'll pin it at the end and then I'll put the liner in there part with the good part. And we just line these up and then I will just use the same pin. So with this one I'm going to start sewing from the outside to the middle. So I just want to mark the middle by folding it in half and making a crease with my finger. So to pin this, I will take this and pin, pull it, line it up the same as the other one, add a pin here, add a pin just below the elastic casing, and then I will Uh, 
line this up. Pin and pin. Since the middle part's already marked, we don't have to put a pin or mark there. And I will sew from this way to the middle. Let's see how this turned out. So cute. And if you want, you can press it. I think it's okay, it doesn't need to be pressed. And I'm going to fold it, find the middle, make a crease. And same with the sole, fold it, make a crease. So that's my good side and my good side are going together. Line them up, pin it. And I will continue pinning all the way. I will go along this way to the heel and then I will go from this way to the other side. I find it's easier if I start on this side and go this way and then flip it and then go the other way. It seems to line up better. When you start sewing, you want to make sure your needle's down because we're going to be lifting our foot a bunch of times. And if your needle's up, then your whole fabric will move. Whereas if your needle's down, like see how that one stays down, it will be easier to pivot your fabric when you lift your foot. Here I want to just make sure it's pressed down so I'm not causing any wrinkles. I just try to keep it about a quarter of an inch. If it's a little bit smaller, that's okay. Or if it's really uneven. If you had a serger, you could probably serge it now. But since I use flannel, it doesn't fray too much. Usually I try to run my finger along the edge so that I make sure everything's out and pulled. Push it along the toe with my finger. And this guy looks complete. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Onagiwahe.